Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Home Free Alaska. I hope you guys have been enjoying our remote cabin adventure videos. We had a lot of fun sharing that with you guys, putting those videos together. I've been hard at work editing to share the weekend at the cabin with you while Joe has been outside plugging away at the chicken coop. We're starting out with a new batch of chicks. They're gonna be about three days old or so. And we opted to do that just for the longevity of the lifespan of the hen for laying purposes. We just bought our Alaska cabin and we we decided we want to start out with a whole new batch of chicks versus getting hens that were already laying. We realized we're going to have a good six months before they start laying eggs for us, but I think that it's going to be really fun for the boys, especially Kellen, because Kellen has never raised chickens. So this is going to be a new experience for him. He's been out there working hard with Joe, helping him build the chicken coop, learning how to use the hammer. He's going to be a chicken keeper, and I think it's going to be really exciting for him. Hey, boys. What are you guys up to? Got all the walls up. Good job, Joe. You and Callan were at it yesterday, huh? What you think, B? Hey, we gonna get some chickens, huh? No eating the chickens, Bradley. So I really wanna be able to get a glass door here for the chicken coop. You guys remember the glass door on the outhouse at the remote cabin? with all the window panes and everything, that's what I would like to have. So we're looking on Facebook Marketplace and all over seeing if we can. You saying something? Nah, wasn't saying nothing, Joe. Seeing if we can find one. Um, fairly inexpensive, used is just fine. I actually like things that look more used and worn versus brand new. So hopefully we can find one. I like the idea of having natural lighting for the chickens. And we're also doing the same thing on the roof. Instead of doing like all metal roof, we are gonna be doing some metal, uh, you know, metal like we have up on our, our main cabin here. 
We're also gonna be doing some of the clear greenhouse plastic sheets on the roof. So I don't know exactly how it's gonna look yet. I don't know if we're gonna do every other, every other panel, but my thought process is one, to give the chickens natural lighting, and two, it'll help heat up the cabin because it's kind of like a greenhouse effect. We have perfect sun exposure here all day. The cabin is south facing for our solar panels which is why we put the chicken coop here so that they have warmth in the winter because we live mainly in cold temperatures here. We have a good three or four months of summer here in Alaska, but I think having two or three of those clear panels, obviously not the whole roof because it might actually cook in here. In the summer months, you do get spurts of like 80 degree, 90 degree weather. So just two to three of those clear panels just to kind of give the birds some natural heat from the sun, I think will work out really well. If you guys remember, we built the chicken coop up on stilts on purpose so that they can have an outside area underneath the coop. That'll be enclosed with some type of really good chicken wire. But that way when it's snowing and raining, the chickens can feel like they're outside but still have cover from the, uh, the weather. I like the chicken coop placement being right here. So we have one easy access to get the eggs every day, but also being able to keep a close eye on the chickens from predators. This is right outside of our bedroom window here. I mean, it's pretty far. There's actually a big gap down here. We're gonna be doing an addition on the side of the cabin for a bigger master bedroom. So it's actually further away than it looks, but we can still view it from the window, which will be really nice. Gonna go in and check on the boys really quick. Today's Friday. Fridays we do science and history, so school's pretty easy on Fridays. So today their chore was to get the room cleaned up. You know, two boys, they play hard. It looks like a bomb went off by the end of the week. So Fridays or Saturdays, I usually have them clean the room before they can come out and play. And you guys need to make sure you get all the stuff off the stairs. Well, I mean, it looks a lot better than it did yesterday. That's for sure. But I do see some little things. Hangers, Tupperwares and stuff back there needs to get picked up. Make sure you guys put the bins back inside the bin thing. What's my rule with on top of the toy box and the dresser? Uh-huh, everything has a home. Everything has a place, Kellen, okay? So put everything in the toy bin so it's nice and clean. You guys are almost done. You're doing good. It's a nice sunny day. You want to come out and play? Yeah. Okay, well hurry up. I wanted to come out so I can help Mr. Joe with this chicken coop. Yeah, well hurry up because he's already putting the siding on it. Oh. Don't forget to make your beds really quick, okay? Okay. All right, guys. Good teamwork. Good job, boys. Well, they're doing a good job. Cal wouldn't be cleaning some room, I'll tell you. He don't mess around. Parker's the type. He likes to shove stuff under the bed. Or shove things everywhere just to like make it look clean but Kellen <laughs> he actually makes sure that this stuff is put in the bins in the drawers hung up the way it goes so maybe a little bit of that will rub off on Parker there's just one nail holding them up see that's what they use these hammers for so I can break these off <laughs> so if your drill was charged were you gonna use screws well for the roof I can't do the roof right now yeah, I got in trouble this morning. I guess Joe plugged in his drill battery last night to charge and I unplugged it before I went to bed because I was uploading a video for you guys and I needed the outlet. That's one thing we don't have a lot of in this cabin is outlets. So hopefully we can work on adding some more because it's just a struggle to try and get things plugged in. But I didn't know it was the drill. I just unplugged it, plugged in my laptop. And then this morning he went to work on the coop and he's like, who unplugged my drill? I'm like, the boys always doing stupid stuff, duh. I'm 
not going to throw it right here. There's nowhere for you to run. You'll get hurt. Okay. That's all he wants, somebody to throw the ball. What are you doing? You thinking about life? Mm hmm What are your thoughts on life, Joe? Mm -hmm. Do you have thoughts? Just mm -hmm. doing it? Yep. Yeah. One day at a time? I need to look at some things. Looking at the shed, getting some ideas for the roof? you oh uh, can I get a cheeseburger a cheeseburger with some fries sure honey you want some ketchup and mustard on that no nah, this ketchup you want a coke or a dr. pepper water water that's what I'm talking about okay pull right around to the second window please yes ma'am it's gonna be 1371 sir here just use my credit card Right. Oh, I'm Y'all's sorry. Our credit card machine is down. <laughs> Cash Apple only. Pay? Apple Pay? Uh, honey, I don't know what that is. How do you not know what Apple Pay is? Here's giving them cash. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Your food will be out in just a few minutes. Alright. They're soldiers, and that's their tank. Apparently, you take the tank through the Burger King drive-thru. I will tie it. Yeah. Yep. When? Today. Oh yeah, y'all taking after Mr. Joe? Hmm? Taking after Joe? Mm -hmm. That's how Joe dresses in Alaska, shorts, mm -hmm. sweaters, and a little headband. A little bit of hot, a little bit of cold. I like it, boys.
Hey guys, good morning. It is the next day. Today, Joe and Parker are taking a trip out to the remote cabin. We have a bunch of other supplies that we wanna take out there and the idea is that the more we can get out there, the less we have to trek back and forth every time we visit the cabin. So Joe and Parker are working hard today, traveling the river with a freight trailer, taking a bunch of supplies to the remote cabin. But that means Callan and I get to have a day together as well. Today is Saturday and we are just hanging out relaxing at home no school today obviously so I told Kellen we are gonna make some homemade chocolate chip cookies and then I think him and I are gonna head into the local library and pick out some fun books for him and I to read together
close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest sound out the letters. Fence. What is he digging under? Fence. Fence. Good. And watch. Went. Went. For a walk. And the wide. 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 World. World. Good job. The next morning, someone had filled the hole and put up a sign. The sign said, don't ever dig holes under the fence. But the five little puppies dug a hole under the fence just the same and went for a walk in the wide, wide world. Through the meadow they went, down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass, up the hill, two and two. And when they got to the top of the hill, they counted themselves. One, two, three, four. One little puppy wasn't there. Parker. <laughs> 
Good morning, friends. It's the next day. We are going to town today. We have quite a bit of errands to run. I have to drop some things off at the UPS store. We got to pick up a few grocery items. We are going to Home Depot or Lowe's to get the last of our building supplies that we need to finish that chicken coop up to include getting a door. I don't know what Lowe's and Home Depot have right now, but we're gonna check it out. So we're gonna get the rest of the supplies and hopefully get this chicken coop done in the next few days because the chicks should be ready any day now. And then I am gonna be picking up a new snow machine for myself. So here's the thing. I like my snow machine that I got. Um, I can't start my own snow machine. I know. It's crazy, because Parker's little Indie Light, I can start that snow machine just fine, but when I try to start mine, I'm just not strong enough. I can't pull it fast enough and hard enough to get it to start, and I want to be able to start my own snow machine. When we took the trip out to the remote cabin, every time we stopped for a break or something, Joe would have to come over and restart my snow machine for me, and I just want to be able to start it on my own. I mean, what if there's an emergency? Like, I need to be able to start my own snow machine. So we found a really nice indie light snow machine very similar looking to parker's snow machine that is electric start and it has reverse and all that so we are actually going into town to look at that and hopefully pick that up for me we are going to keep our extra snow machines you guys know probably know from the last video joe got a new snow machine none of them are brand new they're all used but we're keeping the two spares because as i told you guys in the q a my daughter lexi and her boyfriend james are moving up here in may so I imagine we'll have plenty of trips out to the remote cabin and doing things with the kids, so it's gonna really come in handy to have a couple spare snow machines. my new snow machine it's really nice has electric start and it has reverse which is really nice Parker's doesn't have reverse which I didn't realize that until after we bought it and I thought who in the world makes snow machines that don't have reverse <laughs> especially because when you're out sometimes on the trails you don't have a lot of room to turn around so I wanted an electric start and I wanted reverse so we got it and I'm really happy about it so we are probably gonna be grabbing some lunch or pretty hungry before we finish the rest of our errands. The kids get excited to come to town, spend their allowance, get something to eat. It's crazy, since we moved here to Alaska, we never really eat out that often. So we get excited to come into town and get a little bite to eat. It's cold outside and I kind of feel 
you dry Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving Exhausted. I think we're finally done getting all the supplies and things that we needed from town today. So we're gonna get this trailer loaded up and I think we're good to head home. What a long day. We always try to do everything all in one swoop because we don't come to town very often. You're good. Joseph, can I come by? You're filming. Anyway, I'm excited. Show you guys the new snow machine really quick. There she is. Look at that. Gotta get a new seat cover. That's easy. Pretty good condition. Huh? It's got reverse, electric start. It's got a pull start too if you need it, but it's got electric start. Most important thing to me. your regular programming but I had something special that I wanted to share with you you guys know we have two Belgian Malinois pups that we love Gunner and Bradley they're a big part of our family you guys see them in a lot of our videos and we get a lot of comments and questions on how do you train them what do you feed them what kind of treats do you feed your dogs so I was really excited when the company Grub Terra reached out to Joe and I and asked if we would be willing to try their dog treats one of the things that I love about Grub Terra is that their products are not full of a bunch of chemicals and preservatives and things that we don't want our animals to eat. As a family, you guys know, we try to source our food from good sources. 
be conscious of what we put into our bodies. We're not perfect, right? But nobody is. We do the same thing for our animals. And our Belgian Malinois, they have a pretty big lifespan. They can live up to 13 to 14 years old. And we just got these pups a year ago. So Joe and I have been very mindful and very on purpose about what kind of food we feed them, what kind of treats we give them, and we don't just give them anything. They are high energy dogs. You guys might know these are the dogs that the cops and the military use. They burn a lot of energy, especially here in Alaska. They are very active. So Grub Terra sent us these dog treats a couple months ago, and it's been a couple months because I like to actually use the product and make sure that we like it, make sure that our pups like it before I would ever share that with you guys. You guys know me on this channel. There's very few things that I actually share with you and I only share things that we actually use in our home. And these Grub Terra treats have very quickly become our favorites. Let me tell you why. So the Moo Munchie treats and the Bully Bites are made from high quality single ingredient beef. They're freeze dried with no artificial or harmful preservatives, natural flavoring, rich in protein. They support your furry friend's muscle development and they promote healthy teeth and gums. They're created from the highest quality American beef carefully selected to provide a quality chewing experience that will help scrape away plaque and build up before it begins. The next one is their salmon treat. They are rich in omega-3 to support the immune system, decrease inflammation and keep the dog's coat looking shiny, added with protein to support muscle development, skin, hair, nail, and blood formation. It's so funny because when we first started feeding the Grub Terra treats to the dogs, they kind of looked at them like, what is that? Usually you don't see treats like this. You see the cheap ones at the store like the raw hide bones and things that are really hard for the dog to digest. But the Grub Terra treats are literally huge chunks of meat. <laughs> I mean, it's just a hunk of beef. Who doesn't want a hunk of beef? Here's one of the Moo Munchies. Look at that. That just looks like a dog paradise right there. Bradley and Gunner go nuts over these treats. And here's the salmon. And it's salmon-y. You guys, if you're gonna get treats for your dogs, get them something that's actually good for them. There's a lot of bad stuff out there. This is one ingredient. There is nothing else in here. This is salmon, freeze-dried salmon, that's it. They've got these resealable bags, so once you open them, they're good for 30 days, but unopened, they would be good on your shelf for up to 24 months. Because our pups love the treats so much and because they are so good for them, we wanted to share these treats with you guys. If you are interested in checking out Grub Terra's dog treats, check out the video description. The very first part of that will be Grub Terra's link. If you guys click on that link, you can use the coupon code that's listed and you can get 10% off your order. So if you guys try the treats out, let me know which one you chose and let me know what your pups think. All right, let's get back to the show. Got some new toilet seats for the remote cabin. <laughs> Styrofoam. Yeah, baby. Nothing like a new toilet seat. Joe's like, there's a problem with the outhouse. And I was like, what? I think the outhouse is fabulous. He's like, the hole's too small. <laughs> so I guess he's going to cut bigger holes. Uh, and he wants the kids to have one and then us to have our own. I'm like, why do you need a bigger hole in the outhouse, Joe? We're essentially talking about two holes here. One's really tiny, and then you got a big one cut out in the styrofoam. I don't see the problem, but Joe's a picky pooper. What can I say? Nobody myself. Oh, not that hard. You know?
So we're picking up our chicks today that are gonna be our future laying hens and we're super excited because we had homesteads and farms back in Virginia. We've done everything from milking cows and sheep to raising pigs and chickens and all the things to not having any kind of animals other than our domesticated cats and dogs in the last, I would say, year, year and a half. So the chickens really are the first thing that we're adding to the Alaska homestead, and we're really excited, so we thought we would take you guys along with us. But before we pick them up, we've gotta stop and get some supplies for them, some chick feed, a feeder and a water, and things like that, so let's get going. Aren't they sweet, Callan? <laughs> huh? Yes. Oh, especially this one this way. Yeah, those are your chickens. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> This one's cute! <laughs> starting to get wrinkles on my mouth. You know, I actually think all my mouth wrinkles are from my stupid faces that I make. Even like when you that? stop making them, and yeah. you just really stop. On. Even when I stop making them, now the wrinkles are still there. The fishy lips, you know the fishy lips, like, I don't know how they do it. Or it's like, yeah, like that. How's that? 
They look like the guy on Monsters Inc. that got his mouth stuck in the sucky thing. You know what I'm saying? He's like. Yo, lip. Yo, lip. Pick it up, yo, lip. Lip, pick it up, yo, lip. Get in step, Joe. Get in step. Ready? Yo, lip. No. Stop. Yo, lip. Ride on lip. Drill starts to get down one time. Yo, lip. Yo, lip. Yo, lip. Two, three, four. Take my eyebrow off. I colored it in today. You can't take my eyebrows like that. Stop! What are you doing? <laughs> 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 the Home Depot cha cha cha. Mm, 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 mm